far as Floyd, Danny, have you, you know, I talked to your dad about that. He said that he liked that fight, but do you think he comes back, Danny? And do you still think you're the, the you know, the front runner for that fight should you win? Well, as Floyd Mayweather comes back? Yeah. Um, you know, I really don't know. I don't know. You know, Floyd Mayweather, he's, he's made a lot of money as far as him now. He's retired and um, he's enjoying his life. And um, me, I got, I'm worried about Robert Guerrero. I got to get this victory January 23rd and I'm excited. I'm ready. As a fighter, as a welterweight, how do you see him, though, Floyd? Because everybody wants to fight him. You're the only guy that always tells me I'm not really worried about fighting him. Why is Danny different, and why is other guys always saying Floyd? You know, I mean, if Floyd's not worried about you, you shouldn't be worried about him. <laughs> right? <laughs> so basically, I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> you, dominated your division. you dominated your division, and now you're moving up to uh, 147. Are you looking forward to doing the same thing with that division and taking over the reins that Mayweather had with that division? Yeah, no doubt. Um, and this is just another fight for me, you know, just uh, one step closer to taking over my division, and I'm going to do one fight at a time. And you usually fight out in cities with more Puerto Rican uh, descent. You're coming to L.A. We know that there's a more of a Mexican descent here. Why, why fight here and not take it to New York or Philadelphia? Because I represent all Latinos. You know, at the end of the day, Mexican and Puerto Rico, we still Latino. So, you know, and like they said, this is where the stars are born. So in order to be a star, you got to come here and fight. And at the end of the day, you know, no matter what race you are, all the fans want to see is a good fight. And that's what I'm going to come do. Uh, January 23rd, I'm going to give the fans a great fight, and they can only love you for that. Do you have a target on your back, Danny? You got a, you got a lot of uh, fans, but you also have a decent amount of haters, probably in this room, yeah. and then also out on these streets. Do you feel that any additional pressure to come in here and put on a spectacular performance to kind of shut the people out here up and get them on your side? I've been under, I've been under more pressure, I, I would say, in my career. But, um, you know, it's always pressure. It's always pressure to look good, come in there, like you said, you know, it's going to probably be people who don't want me to win, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of fans there. Trust me. Believe me. You feel it's a target on your back, Danny? Because every guy I ask always, want, always mentions your name. Madonna mentions your name. Every guy I ask always says, I want to fight Danny Garcia. Do you feel like there's a target on your back right now? I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know why they want to fight me. I mean, all I can say is just be careful what you wish for. That's all I can say. Resume. Why do you think you get so much critique, given that you have such a stacked resume of wins? You know, it's crazy. It's like the people who criticize me never fought nobody, so that's why I ain't even tripping. You know what I mean? It's just like I paid my dues. I was a unified champion. I've been the underdog. You know, I've been. I was supposed to be knocked out. I was, I'm, I'm, I was too slow. I was flat-footed. I swing wild. You know, I, I heard it all. I heard it all. But at the end of the day, after our fight, it's always the same result. I win. You're nowhere close to retirement. You're still pretty young. Do you think that fans will appreciate you more once you're gone? I don't want to talk about being gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I plan on being here for, you know, a little more and um, just continue to be the best fighter I can be and go out there at the same time like I always do. Win in fashion and just be humble. No matter if the people love me or hate me, I'm just going to be Danny Garcia. That's just who I am. What's better than watching sports with your friends? Messi through four. Watching sports with your friends for free. Now there's a way. Catch free live sporting events, movies, and TV shows all on demand in high definition. Tiger Stream. Stream like a tiger.